If you're a course creator, consultant, or online coach, you need to watch this video before you create your online course. I have a YouTube channel of over 60,000 subscribers, and I have been able to sell courses to most of my subscribers for the past four years. And I want to tell you the truth, 60 to 70% of the courses I've created have actually flopped. And the reason is because I didn't have this one tool that I'm about to show you. I lost countless hours creating courses that no one was interested in, and I lost thousands of dollars in potential income because I didn't know about this research tool that can help you to practically come up with profitable online courses that when you sell them you easily find students who want to buy them this tool can actually come up with amazing profitable topics and actually help you to come up with the content the name of this tool is called Eureka and let me show you how it works so this is the software and it's called Eureka.io it's basically a platform that allows you to do research for your courses and for your ebooks so that you actually create courses that people want to buy. The way that it works is that you can research any type of course topic and it will find similar courses in all the major course platforms around the world and so that you can be able to research from other winning courses that are already out there. For example, I can just come here to the search feature and search for something using a keyword like learn guitar. Immediately, it's gonna give me some different results that I can use for my research purposes. Now, the first thing that I want you to notice is that I didn't use a specific title. I just used the keywords learn guitar because I wanna get as much data as possible. You will notice that it's gonna give you a summary and the summary basically will tell you how many courses have been created with that key phrase, which is learn guitar. And as you can see, there are 210. And there are over 414,000 students all around the world who are actually taking a course that has got these keywords. So automatically that tells me that there is a high demand for this type of course. And then next you see it says opportunity score. Opportunity score here just basically tells you that, okay, there is a demand for this type of course and it's good. Anything below 50 might not be a good idea for you to pursue. And the closer you get to 100, it means the higher level of success you might get. Another awesome feature is that it's going to show you Google Trends over the past few years. And as you can see here, people have been searching for this topic for the past few years and it's all above 50. Anything below 50 tells you that, okay, there's a dip and people are not really interested in this. But then this topic has been very consistent over 50, which shows you that it's a good idea for you to create a course about this. Next at the bottom here, this is one of the most awesome features is that it's going to actually show you the courses that have been created with this topic. And it can, it also shows you how much people have actually earned from this course. For example, this one, this person has earned over a million, uh, $300,000 from selling a course called Learn Guitar in 21 Days. So you can just go through all these different courses and see different ideas of course titles. And as you can see at the end here, it shows you the different platforms that these courses are hosted on. Now, if I click on this first one, and which says Learn Guitar in 21 Days, I'm able to get the full details about this course so that if I want to create a similar course like this, I already have the outline. For example, here's the sales page. This is the full sales page description about uh, this course. Everything that they wanted the students to know before they bought the course is actually written on this page. If I want to know what to include in the modules, I can just simply go through their modules and get ideas of the different modules that I want for my own course. And now if I find inspiration from this course, there are two things that you can do. The first one is that you can save the course to the library, and I'll show you what that means um, shortly. And the other thing is that you actually can just click there and it's going to take you to the sales page of the exact course on the exact platform so that you see how the course is structured, you see how the course is priced, and you can just get a basic walkthrough and you are able to even preview the course so that you get a feel of um, the type of way that this content creator created their course. Now, normally to get such information, you would have to go to these different platforms one by one and do all the research. But by using this platform, you're able to get all the research at once. And then there are different options right here at the top. As you can see, there's niche, there's topic area, and there's platform. These are just basically different ways of niching down. For example, maybe you want to get uh, courses that are at a certain price point, you can use this. Uh, there's different niche options to be able to narrow down the course. The next thing that you see on the menu option here is what's called platform research. Platform research is similar to what I just showed you, but the difference is to that you can just focus on the different platforms one by one. For example, if I want courses that are hosted on LinkedIn Learning, I simply click on that, and then I choose the category of 
the course that I'm looking for. And then I'm able to see the courses that are available on that. Then there's the awesome feature, which is called book research. Now, this is so cool because you are able to search any type of book online that you are interested in. I just simply type in the key phrase and then it's going to show me different books that have been created uh, in that category. Like here's one here, which is Learn Guitar. I can just simply click on that and then it's going to give me the description of the book and I'm able to get all the information that I want to know about this book. If I want to use the same description for my own book, which might be similar, I can just simply click there and I'm going to be able to copy the text. And the best part is that I also can come and peek inside the book and see, like, for example, the content of the book. The contents, I can just see what or what are the different topics that this author was writing about. And I can just get like the intro of the book. So I can basically do research about all these books from one platform without having to buy the books, without having to download them all and read them one by one. The next and the overall best feature, according to me, for of this platform is what's called the lesson architect. Like if I want to create a course on learning guitar in maybe 30 days, copying the similar course that I showed you that was guitar in, in 21 days, I can just simply type in my title there, then choose whether it's a course or a book. I'm going to say course, choose what level of information I want to give. I'm just going to say beginner. And then what do I want? I want basically an outline of my course. Choose how many modules or chapters. I'm going to leave it for optional for now because I want it to be 30 days. Formatting, I'm going to change this to document. And then the number of hours, I'm going to leave it as it is. Then I'm going to click on generate. And then what it's going to do is that it's going to start generating my course outline for me using AI. So I'm not going to struggle with what should I be talking about in my course or what should I say, but it's going to give me a basic outline of everything that I need to know. So as you can see here, it's come, it stopped on section five. In other words, that's day five. So I can come back here to the number of modules and I can change that and say 30. And then I'm going to click on generate again. And then it's going to start writing all the different outlines for a full course for me with 30 different modules or 30 different days of content. Now, if I'm happy with the results, what I then can do is that I can click here where it says I save content to library. And then it's going to ask me if I want to go to the editor. I'm going to say close for now. The next feature is what's called the content planner. And this is where you can start creating your course and planning it. You'll notice here that the course outline that I just created now appears right here at the top. And what I can do is I can just click on it and I can come in and immediately start working on my course. And as you can see here, it gives me the opportunity to start typing in and actually writing the content of my course. Now, if I actually don't know what to say in my course, I can click here where it says AI. And then the AI is going to start the writing content for me. So using this tool, there's no way that you can say, I don't know what to say, or I don't know what to teach in my course. And once it's done creating the intro and you're happy with it, you then can proceed to the next module, which is module number one. You do the same process, or you can type it in yourself, or you can just use the AI to write the content for you. Now, another great feature that you can use is this one, which says show saved contents. What it's going to do is that it's going to open up all the previous courses that you had already researched. For example, these that one that's called Learn Guitar in 21 Days. It's going to show you all the different courses that you have researched. And what you then can do is you can click on that one and you can start comparing the course that you like and maybe just copy some elements into your own course. For example, we say that our course is called Learn Guitar in 30 Days. So rather than calling these modules, we can call this um, day one, day two, day three. So I can just simply come here to this course and I can click where it says day one, and then I can come to my own course, delete where it says module one, and just simply paste that day one there. So it works the same way. Remember here, I'm creating an outline. If I was actually creating the course content itself, Eureka would be showing me the course content. And then I'll just paste day one here as the title. What I then can do is that I can proceed to scroll down and make changes to all the other modules. So that is day one up to day 30. And now for future reference, just in case I want to make some more changes to my course, what I can do is that I can just here where it says link course. And then every single time when I'm editing my course, this course is going to appear as a reference. Then I also need to just click here where it says tags and I need to add a tag. I'm just going to say guitar and then just click on save. Now, anytime I want to work on my course, I just simply need to come back here to the content planner. If let's say maybe I've got different courses I'm working on, I'm able to use that tag that I just created to immediately see the guitar course. And then I'm able to just click on it and start working on the course again. The next feature there is what's called title rank. 
SEO. This is basically a feature that helps you to be able to see if your keywords are ranking on Google or not. Like if I type in learn guitar there, it's going to show me the search volume. It's going to show me the search volume. In other words, the number of people that are actually searching for this, the competition, and then the cost per click. Uh, on Google. And also if you scroll down, you can get some different ideas of different words that you also might want to rank for and be able to see the search volume. And now I know that everything that I've explained might be a lot for you and you're thinking, okay, Marshall, will I be able to use this tool? Uh, don't I need more training to use it? The last best feature that I want to mention is that there, there is, if you click here where it says training, you notice that there are some training videos that will show you everything that you need to know about using this software. For example, there's a video on course research, platform research, book search, uh, lesson architect, title rank, SEO. And the thing that I love about these videos is that they are super short and straight to the point. In less than 30 minutes, you'll be an expert in how to use the software and you'll be able to create amazing courses that people want to buy. All right, so that's the Eureka tool that you need to be using to launch your next online course. Ever since I started using this tool, my courses have skyrocketed and I'm now getting better results by being able to do the research and then being able to create courses that people actually want to buy. So if you want to try out the software, there's going to be a link in the description below or a button that you can click on. Uh, just click on that link and then you're going to get a free trial of the software. Try it out, use it and use it to launch your successful courses. I guarantee you're not going to regret um, trying the software. And if you've got any questions, you can simply just message me on email and let me know the questions that you might have. But otherwise, I hope that the software is going to make a great impact in, in your life the same way that it's been making an impact in my life.